Terrorism and extremism in the name of Islam have existed since the 80s and it continues to exist today, be it in the name of the Taliban, under the banner of Al-Qaeda, under the title of Al-Shabaab in other parts of the world or in the form of the TTP and most recently ISIS has taken charge of terrorism at the global level. In these 35 years, the name, form, methodology and slogan of this extremism and terrorism may have been different, but the ideology and motivating factor behind it has remained the same, which is a perverted interpretation of Islam and the misapplication of the concept of jihad. While on one hand, the terrorists and Harajites were changing their appearances and targets over the last 35 years, on the other hand, a voice was continually heard saying, Islam is a religion of peace. The message of Islam is love. Terrorism and extremism has no link whatsoever with Islam. This was the voice of Dr. Tahir al-Qadri. Well before 9-11, those powers and institutions who are currently working against terrorism were either supporting or helping terrorists due to their vested interests or had turned a blind eye to their activities. Even at that time, Dr. Tahir al-Qadri categorically condemned terrorism and extremism while conveying the teachings of peace and love. So Holy Prophet Muhammad eliminated the concept of the difference of race and color. Your blood, your property and your respect and honor, they have been made so dignified as the dignity of Kaabatullah, as the dignity of Makkah. So what better, the best form of the world peace message was given by the Holy Prophet. So the man who is not living a peaceful life for the mankind, in the eyes of Islam, he cannot be regarded as a good Muslim. The word Islam, it means peace, to provide the peace, to be in peace, and to let others live in peace. This is what Islam means. He said, oh my people, fitna, destruction of deen and disruption in deen would come out and would emerge from this side. Fitna would emerge from this side. Fitra would emerge from this side and the companion say he was standing and saying and he was pointing towards the east. He was pointing at al Arura, the first ever capital of Khabarit, where the liberty movement, liberation movement started in the name of al Arubiya. The major threat and danger for the mankind is radicalism and terrorism and we have to fight against every kind, every form and every manifestation of terrorism, wherever it is. Dr. Tahir al-Qadri's academic and ideological efforts in promoting peace and countering terrorism were not limited to any specific area or country, but his voice was heard in all continents of the globe. Terrorism is terrorism. Violence is violence. It has no place in Islamic teachings. And no justification can be provided to it on the basis of any kind of excuses or ifs or buts. Islam declares killing of mankind or killing of a human being, whether Muslim is being killed or a non-Muslim is being killed, a forbidden act. And if this act of killing takes place with a particular idea that this act of killing is lawful and permissible or I would be rewarded for that, then this act of killing of mankind becomes an act of kufr, act of disbelief. There are two basic Quranic and the Holy Prophet Sunnah basic that maximum Muslims are hating. They can hate a particular decision, a particular action. So Quran says even there is a lawful hatred, but you, in spite of this lawful hatred, you cannot act unjustly. 
who saves and secures the life and honor and property and everything of the human being. Holy Prophet said, according to my teachings, he is the member of my Ummah. He is Muslim. Nobody has an authority to give the nomenclature or to give the title of Islam or Jihad to his own wishes, to his own personal perceptions. Muslim is the promoter of peace. Muslim is the protector of peace. Muslim is the demonstrator of peace. Any person who works against peace and security, he has no link with the teachings of Prophet Muhammad and teachings of Quran. In Quran, there are 35 verses in total containing the word of jihad or the commandment of jihad or mentioning of jihad in any form. None of them, I mean not a single verse out of 35, include or put the word or commandment of jihad and qital together in the text of a single verse. 60 verses in Quran discussed with the matter of qital. None of those verses contain the world of jihad together with qital. I always used to say, don't follow Usama, follow Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And don't follow Al-Qaeda, follow Al-Quran. Follow Khulafai Rashidin and companions of Prophet Muhammad. Follow Abu Bakr and follow Umar. Follow Usman and follow Ali. These are our leaders. At the raising of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, when the total dignity of mankind was lost, when there was a system of brutality all over the world, people were cutting the necks of each other. There was racial discrimination, religious discrimination, tribal discrimination. There was no respect for slaves. Islam stood up for the poor people. Islam stood up for the oppressed people. Islam stood up for the orphans, stood up for women, stood up for children. And he gave the respect, he gave the dignity to the whole mankind, irrespective of their religion, irrespective of their culture, irrespective of their race. So this is Islam who came for the unity at the globe. This is Islam who came for promotion of peace at this globe. This is Islam who came for the dignity of mankind on this globe. Dr. Kadri has not only been arranging conferences and seminars around the world and condemning every form of terrorism and extremism, but he has also authored around 30 books on different aspects of countering extremist ideologies and the misdirected jihadi narrative. time when people from all over the world, including the younger generation, are in some form or the other being influenced by the terrorist ideology, there is the likelihood of young Muslims being influenced by the terrorist ideology. There is also the possibility of Islamophobia becoming rife in non-Muslim communities as a reaction to terrorist ideology and activities. At such a juncture, Dr. Tahir al-Qadri's global movement for the promotion of peace, Minhaj al-Quran International, has prepared such a comprehensive curriculum. Islamic Curriculum on Peace and Counter-Terrorism, which is equally beneficial for Muslims and non-Muslims. basic challenge is not only the ISIS. The basic challenge is that extremist mentality which aims at creating hatreds and which aims at cutting the necks of mankind. This is just for the sake of expansion, of power. We have to tackle radicalization and extremism at its source. It is a, a real pleasure to be here at uh, the launch of uh, uh, this uh, curriculum against uh, terrorism and extremism. It is a particular honor to be here today with Dr. Kadri and to share this platform. 
whose books have been inspirational and groundbreaking. And Dr. Kadri's seminal work will take us on that road to success. Thank uh, the Sheikh Al Islam for the seminar and what he's starting off. And it's important in our communities and our schools to get this message across. We will certainly implement it in our ranks. We have done this for us. Soon after Ramadan, this course will go into our mosques. I'm sure this is going to be a great contribution towards the true teachings of Islam. And I really want to congratulate His Eminence, His Excellency, for taking this inspirational, courageous step once again. This youth need you more scholarly because we don't find in this continent of Europe people like you. We were having Razi, Kundi, Farabi, Baruni, but we don't find them anymore. You are the light for us. You have revived that role of forward-looking Islam in this continent. Today, the greatest challenge for not only the Muslims, but for the mankind too, is that of extremism and terrorism. There are different aspects of this problem. One is ideological aspect. Other one is institutional aspect, where we deal with certain institutions, madrasas, schools, colleges, way of teaching, emotional, religious atmosphere where the students are being groomed. Dashat Gardi ke khat mein ke liye jin nisabat ki, jin subjects ke padhne, padhane ki, jin topics ki zarurat hai, un mein se ek subject bhi aat saal lagen, das saal lagen, bara saal lagen, madaris mein nahi padhaya jata. Is liye mujhe is nisab ko tartib dene ki zarurat pesh hai. Third is socio-economic aspect, the economic terrorism. There is another political dimension of this problem. Then there is a judicial dimension of this issue. And then there is a regional and international aspect and dimension of the problem. Terrorism will never go just by fighting the terrorists. We have to cut down its basic root. This <laughs> और इसकी जो किताबें उन्होंने आपको दिखाई वो बिल्कुल दीन और हमारी जो अहदीस हैं उन पर मबनी हैं मैं समझता हूं इन किताबों की फॉर्म में कि इसको राइज होना चाहिए व्हाट यू हर्ड टुडे फ्रॉम डॉक्टर तारुल कादरी इट्स अमेजिंग लेट मी फर्स्ट नॉट ओनली थैंक हिम बिहाफ ऑफ द नेशन बट लेट मी पुट ऑन रिकॉर्ड द एप्रिसिएशन व्हिच ही हैज डन बाय पुटिंग आवर्स एंड आवर्स शेख उल इस्लाम वही हुआ करता है जो इतिहाद की बात करे इतफाक की बात करे अमन की बात करे सलामती की बात करे और जोड़ने की बात करे हमने बाबा फरीदुद्दीन को आज डॉक्टर ताहिर अल कादरी की शक्ल में देखा है प्रोफेसर ताहिर अल कादरी साहब को दिली मुबारकबाद पेश करता हूं अपनी तरफ से और पूरी पाकिस्तानी कौम की तरफ से कि इन्होंने जो अजीम फरीजा सर अंजाम दिया है ये इस वक्त सिर्फ पाकिस्तान की नहीं बल्कि आलम इंसानियत की ज़रूरत है मैं समझता हूँ कि आपकी तकारीर और आपकी किताब जो हैं उसके फ्रेमवर्क में एक नेशनल डिस्कशन होना चाहिए कि दहशत गर्दी को किस तरह हमेशा के लिए पाकिस्तान में ख़त्म किया जाए और मैं समझता हूँ कि आपने मुल्क की बहुत बड़ी खिदमत की है आई सी द इस्लामिक करिकुलम ऑन पीस एंड काउंटर टेररिज्म फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एज अ गिफ्ट ऑफ होप एंड इनक्रेजमेंट इन दिस प्रेजेंट कॉन्टेक्सट एज ए नॉन मुस्लिम आई वुड ऑल्सो लाइक टू कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट यू फॉर स्पेशली गिविंग अ बुक रिलेटेड टू नॉन मुस्लिम एज वेल एंड हाउ टू डेवेल इन दैट थैंक यू सर अगर आइडियोलॉजी के लिए इनका मुकाबला नहीं किया जाएगा तो इनके खिलाफ जो जद्दोजहद है वो नाकिस होगी इनकी फिक्री बुनियादों को भी उस पर उसको भी खत्म करना चाहिए उसके लिए डॉक्टर साहब ने अजीम जिहाद किया है जिस मुल्क का तालीमी निजाम 30 लाख के अफराद हर साल मसलक की बुनियाद के ऊपर सिस्टम में इंडक्ट कर रहा हो सिस्टम में शामिल कर रहा हो आप मुझे बताइए उस मुल्क में दहशत गर्दी खत्म हो सकती है जब तक आप इस मसले को एड्रेस नहीं करेंगे आपका ये प्रॉब्लम जो है वो हल हो नहीं सकता 
اور اس کے لیے عالم اسلام میں اگر کسی شخص نے اس بنیادی بات کو ٹچ کیا ہے اس بنیادی بات کو چھیڑا ہے تو اس وہ ڈاکٹر طاہر القادری صاحب نے چھیڑا ہے اور ڈاکٹر صاحب اس کے لیے میں آپ کو بہت مبارک بات دیتا ہوں تو الٹیمیٹلی ڈاکٹر صاحب میں آپ کو یہ بتاؤں کہ فتح تو ہمیشہ ہوتی ہے عقل کی قرآن نے بھی کہا ہے کہ کیا عالم اور جاہل برابر ہو سکتے ہیں الٹیمیٹلی تو علم نے جیتنا ہے لہٰذا جیت تو انشاءاللہ آپ ہی کی ہونی ہے دیکھتے ہیں کہ آپ نے جیتنا ہے